Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we finally did it. We got hitched and I wanted to share my wedding makeup with you guys. A few of you asked, I post um, a couple pictures on Instagram and I thought it would be a great idea to film a video on how I did my makeup that day. I was like searching and searching like, okay, what would be a good look to wear? And I just ended up going with like a gold eye and then like a nice um, light pink blush and light pink lipstick. So this is it. There are a couple things I did to prepare. Um, you don't want to do anything like major or drastic to your skin before your wedding because you don't know how your skin is going to react. So basically um, what I made sure was just that my skin was really exfoliated. Like I scrubbed my face, um, scrubbed my body like a week before. I just was doing that every day because I wanted to have like a nice even tan. I use the Saint Tropez um, self tanner and this is awesome. It's like so good. I used this actually um, the day of my wedding. So I put it on in the morning and then just let it sit on my skin for like four or five hours and I had a, like a late afternoon evening wedding so I before I got ready I just took a shower washed it off and it was perfect I could not have asked for a better more even tan and then for my nails um, I made sure to uh, polish my nails I was gonna go get them done but I just didn't have enough time like there are so many last minute things that I was doing that I just had to do it myself so I just used this gel polish from um, ASP I got this at Sally's and that's what I have on my nails now and it's just like a really nice light pink I was thinking of doing like a French manicure or something like that um, or getting acrylic nails put on but like I said I just ran out of time so this is what I use I thought it went beautifully with everything um, so that's that and I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump in um, to my tutorials so I started off by using a primer I just use the makeup forever step one primer and this is the skin equalizer it just has like a yellow tone to it which kind of reduces a little bit of the redness in my skin and then I used um, the double wear foundation the Estee Lauder double wear in two different shades sand for all over and then um, ivory nude just to put in the highlight areas so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with my real technique sponge and I will be right back now moving on to eyes I'm taking constructivist paint pot by Mac kind of and I'm using a smudger brush and the reason that I'm using this is because I feel like this really helps to keep my eyeshadow on like if I want to do like a little bit of a smoky eye for my lower lash line, this works really well at keeping the shadow in place. If I don't use a paint pot or something like that, then <clears throat> it just kind of fades away. So this just kind of keep, keeps it on. I feel like it's um, waterproof. I don't know if it is or not, but pretty much lasts all day if I do this. So I'm just taking it up into the outer corner. I'm going to be taking a 217 brush from MAC and I'm just going to blend that out. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be pretty blended. <clears throat> I'm just getting over a cold, so if I'm like doing weird stuff, I'm clearing my throat, that's why. Okay, now I'm taking Uninterrupted from MAC, and this is a Pro Longwear eyeshadow, and it's like a really yellow brown, and I'm just taking that smudger brush again, tapping it off, and I'm going to go over this bottom lash line, over the paint pot, and also bringing this up into the outer corner. And just working it up into the crease adding a little bit more <clears throat> excuse me and then I'm gonna take my 217 brush again and just work on blending that out Now I'm going to be taking soft brown, which is kind of like a medium brown. It's used for, I use it for like a blending shade. So that's what it looks like right there. And I'm just going to take that into the crease 
and blend it out a little bit. And then I'm also taking another lighter shade. I think this is called Samoa Silk. Find it really fast. Okay, this one right here. It's like a peach. And I'm just taking that on my brush and then blending it just at the top of those shadows. And then I'm just going to take it and blend it all over the lid. Bringing it down. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a little bit deeper shade. And this is corduroy and Swiss chocolate. I'm just going to take a little bit of those and just put it in the very outer corner. And then just circling around, making sure it's blended out really well. I'm going to go ahead and quickly fill in my eyebrows. I use um, the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe and a MAC 263. And then I'll go ahead and, after I do this, I'll clean up with concealer and highlight. Okay, <clears throat> I'm jumping around here, but in the end, it's all going to be how it was in my actual wedding. And the crazy thing about the week before, actually two weeks before our wedding, like we had all these last minute things and everybody in our house just got so sick. I had pneumonia. Um, two of the kids had pneumonia and the other two were really sick. Patrick was sick and it was like the worst two weeks. And then the day of my wedding, Everything just turned out so perfect. Everyone was fine. No one was sick anymore. It was like perfect timing. The weather was absolutely gorgeous. And it just seemed like all that two weeks of like hell pretty much was like worth it. There's so many things that you don't think of like all of your last minute details. It was just super stressful. Even up until like the last minute, the cake we bought, I think on the day of, which we didn't, it, cake wasn't like an important thing to us, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but we went to a local bakery and they had the most amazing cake. It was awesome. It was like white cake with raspberry filling and it had like flakes of white chocolate on the outside. It was so good. We had actually two cakes. The other one was exactly the same, but it had like a um, custard filling. It was just amazing. So I'm going to brush my eyebrows out. And that one looks a little bit off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of concealer. This is NC20 from MAC. This is the Studio Finish Concealer. Um, this is a little bit thicker, and I like it for cleaning up underneath my eyebrows. So I'm just going to do that. And I will blend it out in just a second with my finger. And the most important thing in our wedding was the photographer, like the pictures. I feel like everything else can be whatever, but what you have to look back on and remember everything is through your photos. So. We ended up getting an amazing photographer and it was super inexpensive because we got married like in the off season. So basically March, people usually get married like in the spring and summer, but we got married um, right before the spring season started. So we got a really good deal 
Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of, let's see, this is Blanc Type from MAC just to set that concealer and then highlight it. And I'm just going to use another concealer brush and just go over that. Okay, so for my inner corner highlight and on my lids, I used um, MAC Vanilla Pigment. And basically what I did was just um, take like a MAC 219 brush. I spray some Fix Plus on it, make sure it's saturated. And then I just dipped into the container. And then I just start packing it on my eyelid. So I did this on the front half of my lid. It is so pretty. I don't even know how to explain this shade, but it's just the most beautiful. Now I'm taking a little bit more of this soft brown on a clean brush, and I'm just gonna blend the edges of the vanilla pigment. And you can always go back in later when you're finished, like after you've done your mascara and all of that, and then fix everything or add a little bit more or you know whatever okay so I feel like that's okay for now I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, winged liner and false lashes I'm using my Kat Von D um, trooper liner which I love it's amazing and then I'm using the Demi 102s from Ardell and I actually use the Ardell 116s but I don't have any of those right now so I'm going to go ahead and use these I mean um, this is Rimmel's nude I'm going to sharpen it really fast and I'm just taking this and putting it on my waterline And then I'm applying a little bit of mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I am in love with this. It is so good. So I'm just applying a little bit to help my eyelashes blend in with the falsies. And then a little bit to my lower lashes. And I might apply a little bit more if I need to after um, the glue dries. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the rest of my face. And to clean up under my eyes, I'm just taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I usually mix NW15 with NW20 and then I get like the perfect shade. So I'm just going to apply this to the back of my hand. And then... Um, I'm just going to apply it with my fingers. And I try to keep it down low so that I don't interfere with the lower lash line shadow. And just, I'm also going to place this on my highlight areas my chin, upper lip, forehead, and then down the center of my nose. And then I'm just going to take my sponge and just tap that in. And I feel like I wore a lot of makeup on my wedding day, but in the photos it was definitely worth it. Because when you take photos, um, your makeup just, if you're wearing light makeup, you can't really tell. So, um, I just wanted my makeup to be good and I didn't want it to come off. Um, so it ended up really good. Okay, I'm just going to take, um, a little bit of my Fix Plus and spray it on my sponge just to dampen it up a little bit. Okay, so for highlight, I'm taking, um, this is MAC Luster Drops in Pink Rebel. I'm just going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like a goldy 
pink shimmer and I'm just applying this to the top of my cheeks right there if you can see that it's so pretty and I'm just going to use my sponge and blend that in and then I'm just taking it right around to the end of my eyebrow and then also kind of right here underneath my eye kind of gives a nice shimmer I don't want to apply too much though because I am going to go over it with a powder highlight okay I'm gonna wipe that off and before I go any further I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face and I think I used actually I'm not sure what I used I might have used hula bronzer but I'm just gonna be using this tart since I have it right here and this is a tapered kabuki from Sigma and I'm just going under the hollows of my cheeks And then on my temples, if you rub too much with this, your makeup comes off. So I'm just kind of tapping it on and then I'll go over it with another brush or my um, sponge to blend it out. And then I'm just taking a little bit under my nose to contour and just down the sides. Blush, I used Well Dress. Yes, I'm still trying to get through this. Um, I've been trying to get through this forever, but it's so pretty and it's like the perfect blush for like bridal makeup. So I'm just going to wipe off this um, Kabuki dual fiber brush so that there's no contour shade on there. I don't want to darken up the blush in any way and just lightly apply this um, to my cheekbones. So the best thing about, well, one of the best things is um, that my boys, I have a 17-year-old and a 15-year-old, they actually walked me down the aisle and it was the sweetest thing ever. Um, my dad passed away 16 years ago when I was like 19, I think. So it was like the sweetest thing and just my youngest, I think he got a little bit teary-eyed. It was just like the most adorable thing ever and then um, my aunt ended up giving me away so it was just everything was perfect and it was small um, but I couldn't have expected anything more it was like my dream wedding the the place that I got married was somewhere that I like the first wedding that I ever went to when I was a kid and I thought it was like the most beautiful place and I've always always wanted to get married there so it was just perfect the weather was perfect the location was perfect um, we just had like some close people from each side of our families I guess family and friends really close people so it was small it was um, just perfect so um, that's the blush I used. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the lipstick that I used. Um, I did apply some lip gloss. This is Rosebud Salve from, I think I got this at, you can get it at Ulta or Sephora. But it's super moisturizing. I just apply that so that my lips don't get too dry. I'm going to pat it off. And then I'm taking um, Please Me from MAC. I don't know why, I just love this. Perfect pink. And then I applied a little bit of Stila Rosa. This is um, one of Stila's liquid lipsticks. And it's a lot lighter. But basically, to just kind of brighten it up in the center of my lips, I use this. And just blend it in. And then I'm taking 15C from Makeup Forever. This is one of the Aqualip pencils. And this stays on for a really long time too. So this was perfect. And the last thing 
I think I need to touch up my liner just a little bit really fast. And then the last thing, um, I used the iridescent powder from MAC. This is in Silver Dusk, and it's just a really pretty, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You can see it right there. It's not going to be that heavy, but I'm just taking this brush and just lightly applying it to the top of my cheeks, and it just looks like fairy dust. It's so, so pretty. And then just taking a little bit right there. And then to just end everything and make it all melt together, I'm just taking a little bit of Fix Plus on my sponge and just tapping everything down. And this just gives it a really, gives your makeup like a really nice finish. It melts everything together and just looks so good. I'm going to let that dry. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.